everybody. Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting with BB and Charlie. Uh, I have another diamond painting unboxing to share with you. Oh, I hope that's a good one. I'm so happy with all of my diamond paintings. I made a a meme the other day that said diamond painting and collecting diamond paintings are two separate hobbies. <laughs> I collect them more than I do them, but uh, I work on them. Oh, there's at least two here, and I want to say that they are Huacan by the looks of the tweezers. Each, each one comes with a kit, and you get that clear but kind of sparkly pen with a single and a three tip and it's got a squishy grip on it um, a white funnel white tray with a funnel a huge piece of wax and these really nice tweezers with the tip on them so that you don't stab yourself because these tweezers are sharp so I got two of those kits Here's some drills. There's got to be another pack of drills. Okay, they're really well shrink wrapped around the foam core. This box sure got beat up, but as long as it's the box and not the contents. Here we go. Look how well that's packaged. There's no creases, there's no problems. Um, there's two that I bought, let me get turned around here, one is a stock photo and the other one is a custom, and I'm going to put that down and set it aside, I'll do that one next, hopefully the person I'm making the custom for will not watch this. But if she does, that's okay, too. I think she'll love it no matter what. I guess it's going to get bumped up in my list of things to do, of diamond paintings to do. I have two I'm currently working on. And uh, I don't go, like I've said before, I don't go fast, so I'm not all about speeding through the diamond paintings. It, it takes me a while because I have a, a very weak hand, but it's, it's such good therapy. Um, I think my friends in my stroke survivor group are probably tired of hearing me talk about what great therapy it is. And I'm trying to be sweet about it because you know, a lot of people in that group have no use of their hand at all. So, me talking about how much better my hand is getting is just a little bit cruel. Oh, I got a free gift. I got a little, um, they do these lovely little red string bracelets. And it has a little charm that says love on it. It's very sweet when they... They do that, Ever Moment does that, someone else does it. You know, it doesn't have to be something fancy, just a little something that says, I appreciate you. So this is the one with like a sunset in the background and it's taken through the curl of a wave. I don't know, you can see that. And I will, let me hold it in a second longer. I will put the image up for you as well. Wait, I got, 
I got two diamond paintings and only one free gift. <laughs> I guess it's just one per box. And that's fine. Okay, let me get this peeled so it stops curling. Uh, Huacan always cuts the paper for you. Very nice. This is a 40, no, 40 by 40 with 30 colors and it's a full drill square. Square? That square, that square. Yeah, they're both square. I, I don't see the lines around the squares, but um, you know how their grids look so busy and uh, makes it a little harder to see they might be there either their grids are busy or my eyes are old one of those the glue's coming up a little bit so you know you just press it down again rub it a little bit and try to peel carefully there we go. I will show you the canvas when I'm done. Oh, no. Why pick it up, put it down, and then pick it up again? Let me peel it all the way off here. Well, not all the way off. That's a, I had my other video where I did that because I was having trouble. There's more trouble trying to get it back on. I've seen this one done like as a three pa three panel, five panel. I'm just not into those panel pictures. I don't know how I would ever frame them. We can see how it looks. There's the sunset part over here and the curl of the wave is on the left side. Let me get these put back down the other side and we'll be all set as I do this um, if you like my I'm gonna give my little speech if you like my videos please hit like and uh, subscribe and it's easier to find me next time if you want to watch again and uh, just click on the little bell, then you'll get notified every time one comes out. I get so many notifications because I just, I follow everybody. I follow all the big diamond painter YouTubers. Megan, preschool teacher. Donnie, Stitcherista. Allie. Um, who else? I forget her name, but her, she goes by Diggy. So many. Um, oh, who's that nice lady who does the beads? I am so bad with remembering people's names. This does not want to go even. If you see, I have a big gap right in here. So something is crooked because it didn't come that way. There we go. I just, I don't like anything exposed because then the dust and the dirt can get at it. Wow, oh, it really doesn't want to lay flat. we go. That's better. Now the next one is all exposed. <sighs> there we go. All set. Let me get the other side just so it stops curling. I, I like this image. It's so pretty. The picture is so pretty. So I'm I'm hoping 
that the image is going to come out just as beautiful. I'm a big fan of anything that's beach, water, boats. Growing up, my dad always had a boat. At least when I was around, I was the youngest of five, so there were some things going on before I was born where I know things were a little different as they are for the oldest compared to the youngest. But we always had a speedboat and we'd go water skiing and then we moved to Connecticut. We were two blocks from the marina. We'd go fishing, water skiing. And then my parents would charter a sailboat every summer. So we'd go sailing to Nantucket and Block Island and Martha's Vineyard and uh, in and out of Providence, Rhode Island and all the little ports along the way there. So I really love boats and water and sailing. Let me see if this is the right one. Mm, 30, yeah, I think this is right. I'm just looking at some of the colors. Yes, this is right. So I'm... Um, I'm liking these colors. There's a lot of dark blue, a lot of medium blue, a lot of greens. It doesn't look like an excessive amount of anything, except for 310, of course. But that's like 5,000 compared to 2,000 of the other colors. So that's fine. That is going to be fun. Let me... Let me open up the other one now. This is the custom. And uh, I hope this comes out okay. Let me tell you the little story. I had a friend who, I don't know, I think it was choir. I met her when I moved back to New Jersey when I was in ninth grade. And we were in bell choir together, hand bell choir. We were in, we sat next to each other in choir. We were really good friends. She was a lot of fun. And at some point she started calling me mom. I guess I must have been a little condescending. Isn't that funny? Instead of saying I must have been like real loving and taking care of her, I go right to condescending. The worst thing. Um... And from there, it turned into, I think she called me Kanga one time. So I was calling her Rue. And to this day, we still talk. We call each other, you know, Kanga and Rue. I love you, Kanga. I love you, Rue. And it's, it's just comes from a very sweet place. Um, just good friends all this time and uh, now I'm in Illinois and she's in New Jersey so we don't get to see each other often but every time I go back there she makes a point to come and see me she tries to take a day off work if she can and so I got this one for her and it's a picture I found of Kanga hugging Rue. I'm sorry. Let me hold that there for a minute instead of jerking it away. It just wants to curl up. There you go. Very cute. And I didn't, I didn't put a background color. I may throw a couple little pastel dots in there to break it up. But it's, um, it's very simple, as all the Winnie the Pooh things are. But it, it's, I love it. I think it's very pretty. Um, here we go. It wants to curl, but I got it. It is a 50 by 30. 
and it has 30 colors and it's a full drill huh I'm gonna have to look this up it's a square but I thought I ordered a round I'm probably mistaken I, I do that a lot so it's it's one of those where the grid is on the right side, but that's really the bottom. I have to turn the whole thing. This is the top here. There's no mistaking it. The design is pretty straightforward. Um, they cut the paper, which is always nice. The drills are always in these nice little Ziploc bags. I have no nails and I finally get it up and it, the glue comes with it. There we go. I got it. I got it. There. It's very cute. It's, and it's not. You know, these are such simple cartoons. They're very clean lines. And uh, this one still has some nice shading. I think I got it big enough that I always ask them, you know, the person doing it for you. I, in this case, it was uh, Cherry from Huacan. She's so sweet, and she always, you know, they, they tell you, you know, do you think that's the right size? Yeah. So there you can see. Kangoon Row. Here's another one I'm going to have to really get to work on. Because I don't always buy them with someone specific in mind. But when I do, I really want to just get it, get her done. Here's the colors. They're very sweet colors. Um, pastels, blues, kind of a salmon-y. You know, if you look at Kanga, she's not really brown. She's like a salmon-y, peachy color. That's going to be just adorable. And um, like always, I will inventory the drills. I sit here at night doing an inventory on drills, and it's it's getting mundane, but it has to be done because I don't want to give a review until I'm sure I don't have any problems. Um, these drills look good. I haven't I haven't really had any major. Oh, there's some loose ones in here. Ugh. That's never fun. I find them in my bed for weeks, stuck to my forehead when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay, well, both puppies have abandoned me. So I'm going to end there. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, please just add it to the comments below. And... Uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again. You have a great day. Bye-bye.